Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'll show you how to encrypt and decrypt a string or password using Java code. So this is very simple mechanism. Uh, so the requirement for me here is, so we have a Java, I mean, we have a JAR file that is scheduled in the Windows scheduler that works like an integration. So when there is no integration tool, we normally build a java i mean you know we generate a jar file and then we schedule that into the in the windows task scheduler or we can also do the same in a unix servers also we can schedule the jar file in unix server so that that can be triggered as per the schedule and then you know take the data from the one system to another system so here uh, in my project uh, there's storing password in property file Now the customer is saying they don't want to directly, you know, show the password in properties file. In property file also, they want to, you know, give encrypted password. Then only, you know, if, if he has, you know, if someone sees the properties file, then also they should not be understanding the password. This is not the user password. We use uh, common password in the I mean, common user credentials in the integrations or, you know, any uh, implementations, but still that should be encrypted format. So in that case, so this is a Java code. So we need to, we should be able to read the encrypted password from the property file and then decrypt in our java code and send that password to the system for authentication let's say you want to connect with oracle application so send that original password decrypt the password and send the original password to the oracle application so that it can authenticate so like this you can encrypt username password or any string you want so that is why I just showing you the simple one. It is not reading from the property file. I'll just, I'm just showing from the, you know, by using the string. So here, uh, you know, if you want this code, you can send me your email address. I can just send this code to you or I can, you know, completely show you this. You can write on your own. So this, this is very basic and simple, uh, you know, encryption, decryption using uh, Java code. So these are the inputs. And then if you want, when you're writing in your own uh, Eclipse, you can just pause the video and you can type it, but it is very easy. So these are the variables that we are initializing for this one. And constructor. And so this is the encryption function and this is the decryption function. So encryption function, we are just, you know, uh, See, let me just show you the main function. So we are giving, let's say, demo password. We need to read this from the properties file in your real-time uh, code. So you need to read this from the properties file. Okay, so send that to encryption uh, function so it can encrypt. So what it is doing, it is taking that string and then, you know, using Unicode format, using this code it is encrypting and sending back and at the same time when you want to decrypt you can send this encrypted uh, encrypted string to this and it can decrypt we can execute this and we can see so in real time let's say you want to read the password from properties file and you need to decrypt it. So in that case, you no need to write this one. Just read the encrypted string from the properties file and directly send to this one so that it can be decrypted and you can use the decrypted password for the authentication. So why you need encrypt here means so let's say tomorrow password got changed. I mean, the request is to change the password. 
So we can use this encryption, you know, function and you can just give the value and then you can encrypt it and again provide that into the properties file. But that should not be happen in a production instance because that will not expire. But in test instance, you can use this. Okay, but you know, just to make use of everything, I'm just adding uh, all the code into this same class. So let me execute this. See here, we are just printing direct string that is target is demo password and then encrypted string. So this is from the encrypt function. So what it is written, this is the one. So no one can understand. So this is encrypted format. And then again, we are sending this encrypted string to the decrypt. You can see this. Again, we got the demo password. So like this, it, it will work. So this is this is very useful, you know, in, in similar cases when you don't want to save, uh, not only the password, you know, some customers, they don't want to show the username, password, in some cases, you know, some other values too. So we can follow the same and decrypt and encrypt the strings and then you can use it in the Java code. Thank you guys. I hope it will be helpful. I mean, we have, we can get the you know code from online, uh, but I want to just you know I'm just working on this one, so I just want to share this with you so that whenever you reach with the same requirement, I hope it will help you. Thank you all. Good luck.